That's a big old head right there, guys. That is a big fish. It's a good fish right there. Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to the Monster Bass channel. My name is Jeremy Francis. I run the channel and page called Fishing and Lone Star. But today we're bringing you content over on the Monster Bass channel and we're talking about lipless cranks and particularly the red eye shad. I'm gonna break down the top five colors that I really love to throw in the red eye shad, why I like that particular lure, uh, a little bit of the bait, I'm sorry, a little bit of the uh, gear and tackle that I use and, uh, and, and, and just really explain to you when I reach for each of those five colors. So let's dive in. All right, guys, first of all, let me just say, I love throwing lipless cranks. This is just one of two or three boxes of lipless cranks that I have. So I throw them a lot. I, um, the reason why I have so many, though, is because I keep so many different colors. Now, about two thirds of these are the Red Eye Shad by Strike King. I also like throwing the Castaic lipless crank and a couple others that have come from Monster Bass, like the Arc series, the Thunderhawk series. Uh, there's just some other really good lipless cranks. But the majority of the time, I do like to throw the Red Eye Shad. And let me tell you really why. One of the reasons is just the design of the bait, all right? So first of all, there's tons of colors. I guess that's another reason. But what I really like, if you can see the bottom contour lines here on the Red Eye Shad, right here on the belly here, and here, right? There's a little bit of like a, a, a bowl or bulbous section kind of right here, almost like a belly, if you will, on the shad. But what that creates is when you are using a yo-yo retrieve and you lift up or jerk up, right? The, the, the lure shimmies up, but then on the fall, because of that contoured belly here and here, right? It catches water and the way the water distributes up through the lure as it falls causes it to shimmy on the way down. So not only do you have a really high rattle, right? And, and, a, and a loud sound on the way up, but you also have a shimmy on the fall. And nine times out of 10, that's when you get bit is as the lure is falling. And that's why I really like the Red Eye Shad because it has great action throughout the water, great sound, uh, great hooks, but it's that shimmy on the fall that really gets it done. Now, let's talk about some of the colors that I like to use. Actually, before I do that, let me tell you the, the gear here that I'm using on my setup so that I can put this down and show you some of the colors. Uh, but the gear I like to use, first of all, on any of my crank baits, especially some of the, uh, the, the longer, so not necessarily square bills, but the medium divers, deep divers, or lipless cranks, and I'm trying to cover a lot of water. I really like the BB1 Pro Reel by Loose. It's what I use. I've got a couple of them. This is a Gen 2 version. And I'm telling you, I would put this reel up against any of them in terms of distance that you can bomb and cast, right? It does great. I usually then use 12 pound fluorocarbon. It's kind of what I like. And it's just a sweeping hook set. You're not necessarily jacking them. It's just a sweeping hook set. And you're really letting the fish and the rod do all the work in catching the fish, which the rod I like to use. I use a 7.4, kind of a, a medium heavy, moderate action glass rod, okay? But you can use um, uh, anywhere between a seven to seven four foot rod, but you want it to be more of that moderate action. You want there to be some bend or give in the rod. Uh, let the rod load because that's where the treble hooks are really going to set themselves and you're gonna keep fish pinned or hooked if you're using that type of rod, all right? So that's the setup that I use, the gear that I use. Let's now talk about the five colors and when I reach for them. All right, I said I was gonna put this down. I forgot this is actually one of them, but the first one's gonna be the Citrus Shad, all right? So I like this one a lot around the shad spawn. I like it a lot kind of in these cooler months as bass are kind of feeding up right now and they're eating a lot of bait fish and a lot of shad. Uh, but the Citrus Shad works really well in kind of that semi-stained water. So anywhere between like one to three foot visibility, I would say the citrus shad works really well. Like it a lot. Okay, now let's talk about if your water is, is more clear and you have a lot more visibility. The one I like to go to in that particular case is, if I can get it off these hooks here, is gonna be the gizzard shad. The green gizzard shad, I believe is that color. Uh, but it has a very natural color to it. Uh, still has that obviously shad color with the black dot. Uh, this one actually does have the red eyes uh, still. Obviously, is that really loud rattle, but that green gizzard shed is a great natural color from when visibility is three foot or more. 
um, which isn't a lot in Texas, but there's some waters that are clear, and that's where I reach for this one. All right, now, uh, I would say sunny days. We'll get to cloudy days in a second. Sunny days, um, but maybe you've got some wind, right? So, so sunny, windy days. I love this kind of chrome blue back color. There's something about the flash of that chrome in the sun, but also the wind kind of helps break up the sun a little bit. But that blue back chrome color uh, works extremely well. In fact, at the very beginning of this video and uh, some of the ones I've dropped in clips for, uh, that's, that's what I was using was this one right here. And this color works extremely well, again, in sunnier days, but also windier days, okay? So that's how I reach that chrome blue back. All right, let's talk about the fourth color here in the red eye shad that I like to go to, and that is this kind of gold shad color. I forget the actual name of this one, but any type of gold color seems to do really well in uh, some of the cloudier days, right? Um, you still got some flash to it, but it's a little bit more of a duller look, um, but it does really well uh, in those colder days. The gold color seems to really attract fish. So I really like that one. So I'll recap one for you really quickly and then we'll get to number five. Citrus shad, pretty much pretty much any time in that two or three foot visibility. I'll then we'll go to the green gizzard shad when the visibility is three foot or more. I will reach for the chrome blue back, all right, when it's sunny days but windy. Um, if I've got cloudy days, I'll go with the gold and the fifth color. Let me grab it. All right, you probably guessed it, but it is the red crawl. Any, any type of red, orange, that, that color is going to really do well in the, uh, I would say, early spring, right? So when the water's still cool, you're maybe still in the 50s in terms of water temp, but it's, it's rising, fish are pushing shallow. Um, but again, still cooler water, still in the spring with that red crawl color, kind of that Rayburn red, uh, which is known for Lake Sam Rayburn. That color does extremely well there and probably where uh, it kind of somewhat found its name but just does extremely well. One thing I will call out with this one, this is actually the two tap. So you'll notice that sound is a little bit of a slower, duller, or maybe a, a, a kind of a deeper rattle compared to the others. So your normal rattles uh, just have a much uh, higher kind of a frequency versus a two tab is a little bit of a duller sound. So in case you're wondering between the rattles in them, that's just an extra tip I'm throwing in there. But the fifth color that I like to reach in the early spring is that red crawl color. All right guys, so that is it. That's a little bit of the gear that I use, why I like the red eye shad in particular with that design on the bottom, that, co that contour, it's really gonna shimmy on the fall. I'm telling you, if you use a yo-yo retrieve where you're just kind of, kind of popping it up, letting it fall, ruin your slack, pop it up, letting it fall, ruin your slack. That's where you're gonna get a lot of bites on the fall. And the Red Eye Shed does a great job of enticing fish on the fall. That's why I like to use it. Uh, but I tell you, there's a lot of great lipless cranks out there. If you like to use one in particular, drop me a comment, let me know below. Make sure you subscribe right here to the Monster Bass channel as we bring you more videos, more tips, more tricks to help you go catch more fish on the water and help you land your PV and your Monster Bass.